Well, welcome. Welcome to the next in this series of conversation. Welcome to Infinite Being School. I'm Crystal Crawford. If I haven't met you before, I'm a certified facilitator with Access Consciousness. I love this shit. It has changed my life. And you're in Infinite Being School. And today I'm looking at the title. We're doing energy polls. How? How do you start your day? How does it how do you do an energy poll? Is one of the things I want to cover. And how do you start your day? So I'm really glad you guys are here watching this. If you want to get a full involvement in Infinite Being School, you just have to go to infinitebeingschool.com and you get instant access to a 12-part digital course, a 30-day challenge that has changed my life and so many of the lives of people I know. Um, And then always these conversations. And this week is all about, this series of conversations is all about energy pulls. Now, (laughs) I'm going to get into the meat. One of the things I want to tell you is that the um, exercise that is connected to this video that you can purchase if you choose, I'm so excited about. I actually just created it today. It is so good. It is so good. And it's built so that you can put your phone and your headphones right by your bed, literally open your eyes, put your headphones in and melt into your day. So anyway, we'll get there. Let's just a little bit of education piece on, and if you guys are watching live, say hi. Hi. Little education on, okay, how do you do an energy pull? So basically, this is, the reason I didn't make this whole video about like how do you do an energy pull because it's a five second conversation. So how do you get energy to pull? You ask and it pulls. And that's your education on how you do an energy pull. Now, the exercise that we all have learned throughout our years in access consciousness or reading right riches for you is to pull up the energy of particular things not like the energy of a red ferrari or like the specific well okay let me go back not the specific of things like i want a tall guy five six foot two with dark hair and brown eyes and he's got to have a master's degree and be making three hundred thousand dollars a year before i'll even consider it that's not getting the energy of things it's getting the energy of like what you want your life to be like so for example there's this energy of like if you were traveling a couple times a month or a couple times every three months there's an energy of how much money you're making every year. Like it's a different energy to be making 30,000 a year than it is to be making 300,000 a year or 500,000 a year or a million a year. It's the energy of like the kind of people you have in your life, the energy of, of the relationship, your relationship reality. What is that energy in your life? And basically anywhere we're struggling in our lives is an area where we haven't gotten clear and we haven't chosen and we haven't stimulated and cultivated the energy we want our life to be like. So the exercise itself of like, how do you pull energy is like, you get a sense of all these things. And I walk you through it in the 90 day pull or the, or the, um, there's another one in the shop called reboot, same sort of thing. They're both awesome. You do that daily to start to get a sense of what you want to have your life be like. And then your life starts to show up like that. Then you start, because what happens is we, we get such a strong, it's almost like the energy becomes cellular. And so you start to live it and that's when it can show up for you. That's when you start to just know very clearly when something matches the energy or doesn't match the energy. So how do you pull energy into that? You ask all the energy of the universe to pull into that through you, through your body. And then you ask the flow to reverse and send little bits out to everybody who's going to contribute. And that's how you do it. Now, what I wanted to add to this conversation is how do you start your day? Because one of the things that has been this, this cultivating what you want your life to be like never stops, never ends. Just because I've been doing access consciousness for 10 years doesn't mean like I'm an expert now and like I'm always walking consciousness and I'm like ease, joy and glory all the time. No, no, no. Happiness is a choice all the time. And I can just as easily choose misery and unhappiness as the next guy. So I just don't do it as often and I don't stay there as long because now I've tasted happiness. I like it. I like ease. I like joy. I like glory. So if I am going to choose unhappiness, I just don't stay there very long because I'm like, well, this is terrible. (laughs) Whose good idea was misery today? Mine. Oh, well, never mind. (laughs) So 
I'm excited to use this exercise that I recorded for you today myself. I actually this morning was, I had it in my headphones. I'm like, okay, is this something I would listen to? Yes. Is this exciting for me? Yes. So, because I remember a time, this was probably almost seven years ago when I would wake up in the morning. Okay. I remember 25 years ago when I would wake up in the morning and I was just sad. And maybe you guys have similar experiences or something something similar-ish, where there's been different times in my life where I would wake up, I mean, I've woken up in the morning for like almost 48 years and it's different every time, but there have been many, many, many times where I was sad, unhappy, grumpy, tired, some sort of thing. And about seven years ago when I was already a certified facilitator, I was already, I was facilitating classes, I was doing the thing, living the life, living my best life, right? I was waking up, I was... I was in a phase where I could make a lot of money, but then I would spend a lot of money. So I'd make a lot of money and then spend a lot of money. So I was always in this constant state of stress with money. And around this time, I was starting to really look at that and go, it's like, is this how I want to live? Like, what else is possible? So I started taking myself through the how to become, how to become money workbook, which is a $35 resource that I cannot recommend highly enough. Maybe we'll do a how to become money workbook week or month in here. So I started doing that workbook, and one of the things that that workbook has you do is start to notice what are your first thoughts about money. Now, the thing about money is it's always a reflection of kind of just where you're functioning from in general. And did the workbook, woke up the next morning and was like, started actually noticing where do my thoughts go first thing in the morning. The very, very, very first thoughts in my head were, um, I would get a, a photograph, like, like a picture in my head of my bank accounts. And then the next sensation would be fear and worry and panic. And then I would go about my day. Like, that's how I started my day. Like seven years ago as a facilitator, I'm like, after using these tools, I was starting my day in worry and stress. So what was happening at that time with money is that money was going down. And that's what happens when you try to create anything from worry and stress. You can't create from those energies because the underlying point of view of those energies is something like the universe doesn't have my back. Like, I don't have this. I, I don't know where the money's going to come from. I can't do this. There's all of these underlying energetic points of view that you're creating from. So in essence, you're the ball, you know, a tether ball. This is the post, this is you, this is the rope to the post of your points of view. You keep trying to like live your life, but you can't because this post is like, we can't do this, this is hard, this is impossible. And so no matter how many times you throw yourself away from that pole, you bounce back. <sighs> so there I was trying to do the thing and I couldn't. And so, you know, you don't know you're doing that until you know. And as I was laying there that next morning and the mornings after that, I had to start training myself to access, to choose a different space for the day, which is why I'm so excited about this exercise. So I, what did I do? I used the tools in the how to become, I used the tools in the how to become money workbook, but now I've created a tool for you. Um, I would literally, my, my head would go there because it was habit. After like 40, I don't know, 20 years of being a grown up, I, had, I was habitually conditioned myself to like think about my bank accounts, realize how much wasn't there and go into stress. So I started, I started retraining myself. And the first step in retraining yourself is like catching yourself and then going, no, nope, we're not doing that anymore. I, and then this is from the workbook. I am power. I am awareness. I am control. I am, I am, I am, I am. And so that starts to change where you're functioning from. Now, what started to happen over the next eight weeks, because it took me eight weeks of really, really working on this. So it's not an overnight thing, but it does start to work. So it, after eight weeks, I would say, of actively, diligently working with myself on where my mind would go energetically, that, where my mind would go and then where the energy would go, because energy follows your mind. So if your mind's going down some rabbit hole, then the energy just goes there with you. If you get aggressive with where your mind's going and you insert tool here to interrupt and to cultivate a different energy, then the energy will follow that. So I was like, what can I create that would like empower us to start our day like rocked and unblocked, just like fucking ready 
Does that mean nothing's going to come up during the day? No. But what it does mean is you're going to have, you will have instituted for yourself the awareness of a totally different reality right from the beginning. And it will be so much easier throughout the day to remind yourself of things because you're going to be washing yourself in these tools and in these questions and a totally different space to start your day from. So how do you start your day now? Would it be more fun to start it in a different way? Do you get that where you start from is where, where your mind goes, your energy follows? So you want to cultivate new, ener new choices. You basically want to choose something else. New choices, new energies. And, and what that is is us instituting a different reality for ourselves as an infinite being instead of as a finite being. This is why infinite being school is so exciting to me because finite beings don't have different possibilities. They wake up and they're grumpy and that's their day. They're in a bad mood. Infinite beings have infinite choice, infinite possibilities, infinite. Which means if we have infinite possibilities and we're only choosing one, is that our brightest choice? Could we choose something else? What can we insert here to have a different possibility? So that's all I have for you today. I, I'm so thrilled that you're here. I'm so thrilled that we're having these conversations. You can head into the shop now. The link's in the description of the video in the comments. Um, tell me what you think of it. I'm, a, I'm like super excited. And if you're watching this live, you get, a, you get to take advantage of the launch sale coupon as well. Thank you for being you. Thank you for playing with and choosing to be an infinite being. And um, if you know people that are struggling with how to change their life, send them this playlist. Send them the Infinite Being School playlist. Send them this Energy Pull playlist. What else is possible that we've never considered? I adore you guys. See you in the next conversation.